Hello there Libra, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm back today with your new moon in Leo reading. Now the new moon in Leo is happening on the 8th of August, which means that it's coinciding with the Lionsgate portal, which means it's going to be a really, really exciting and powerful time for all of us. So Libra, let's see what, um, oh, this is the, the Zodiac Oracle. Let's see what Zodiac or Constellation or element is going to be your overall wow energy <laughs> there we go so we've got Scorpio here now Scorpio is all about um, death and rebirth so what I feel here for you Libra so I just want to see if I yeah what this is all about is you um, allowing old energies to die and new ones to be rebirthed which is great. So it's great, but it can be quite challenging. And I tell you, I tell you, you are, I've done the, the fire signs and you are now the second air sign that I'm doing. And I tell you, it's very intense. And this seems to be one of the themes um, of this new Leo moon, <laughs> Leo new moon um, is the death and rebirth energy because Leo is the happiest card in the deck. It's represented by the sun, the sun card in the tarot. And Leo is just a very happy, very energetic sign. So you want to be happy. And this is the time where everybody gets to choose their happiness. In order for you to choose your happiness, there are things that you're going to have to let go of. So Libra, let's see your overall energy. Wow. Wow is the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. This is very, very cool. Crossing the threshold because you are finally able to let go of things that does not serve you any longer. I love that for you, Libra. That is really, really nice. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Libra. <laughs> A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon and Libra as I cut the deck. Very nice. Okay. Okay, Libra, let's get into your new moon reading. I'm just going to unpack the cards and then we're going to get into it. Let's see, Libra. First, first one is what new avenue is your soul directing you to? Oh, wow. We have expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Eclipse energy is extremely powerful. And this is expect powerful change, which means that you are finally ready to make your choice to happiness, Libra. Yay. That's awesome. So... <laughs> with the Scorpio death and rebirth and the initiation, it's like what I what I felt with this card is um, crossing the threshold. You're finally you're finally in that place where you're deciding that you want to be happy, Libra, which is fantastic. But in order for you to make these changes with the Scorpio, the death and rebirth, if you want to make these changes to be happy, there are things that you're gonna have to release and let go of. It's death and rebirth energy, which is what Scorpio is all about. Next one is, what message is this new moon bringing in for you? And we have, oopsie, your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. I love the fact that it's new moon energy. So with the message this new moon is bringing you, you've been working so hard on letting go of stuff and choosing you. It's paying off now, Libra, which is fantastic. Congratulations. Well done. Your next step. You are good enough. It is time to remind you, Libra, of your strengths, who you really are, and that you are good enough to be happy for you. Not happy for someone else, happy for you. And then we have your advice. Your reading seems so short. Oh, yay. Nothing will come of this situation. The only meaning of this card ever is whatever it is that you're worried about, let it go because nothing Nothing that you're worried about will happen. 
Nothing will come of the situation. Stop worrying. It's going to be great. Libra, this is a very short and a very sweet reading. I'm very happy for you. Choose happiness. Choose you. And I hope you have a great new moon in Leo. I'll see you on the flip side.